I grew up in New Orleans in what's called the Seventh Ward. But in the 70s, when I worked at City Hall, rode the bike to work. When I retired, I decided that I would make riding a bicycle in the Gentilly area at a priority. On this path that we're on right now, this has become my path of choice so that I could ride all the way to the lakefront. When I worked on Rampart Street, you could see there was an informal community of the hotel, motel industry, people working in restaurants, people that rode bikes to work. As Bike Easy and other advocacy groups came around, we started seeing bike paths around the city. So I have friends of mine that'll tell me, you're the one caused all those bike lanes to come to the city. And I said, it has nothing wrong with that. We're trying to get more people on bikes. People would be healthier, less traffic, less pollution. I think that we need to educate the ones that are married to their automobiles. And we also have to educate the local authorities, the police and the sheriff's offices around the state. Um, as you see, I stop at the signal lights. When it's red for me, I wait. It's a safety issue. People rushing to work, people going to school, because people can be very cruel and they'll blow, blow their horns at you or try to run over you. Now we're approaching a bridge. This becomes really, really, really hard to do, to ride on it with the shared lane without a shoulder. But it's one of the things you have to put up with riding in New Orleans. All of us that ride a bike, we may not be the healthiest bunch in the city, but we're the happiest, you know. I wanted to acknowledge a person that, from my family, that rode and rode and rode till he couldn't ride anymore, my Uncle Earl. I want to be like Uncle Earl and ride my bike as long as I can. I've had two hip replacements, but right now I'm very comfortable riding. Hopefully, like Uncle Earl, I'll be riding for a long, long time.